we have our viewport frame image, our name. My name is Poncho Kings, it's working. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you the second part of how to make a dialogue with picture and name in Roblox. Remember guys, this video is gonna be a continuation, so if you have not watched the part one, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description and probably somewhere up here around the video. Also guys, if you have not hit the like button, make sure to go ahead and do it. Also go ahead and subscribe right now so we can keep getting more people and we can keep making more cool tutorials. Okay guys, so let's get right into it. So first let's go ahead and check what we had from the past tutorial. So if you guys remember, we had the bacon hair model uh, we had inside our replicator storage, we had the modules folder, we had the remote remotes folder, and we have the sounds folder. Inside, inside the modules folder, we have the rich text, and inside remotes, we have the create dialog event, we have the hide dialog event, and the set dialog image event. Inside server script service, we have our main script, and inside star GUI, we have the main GUI with the dialog script, and with the dialog frame. Perfect. Okay, so what we wanna do in this tutorial is that if you guys remember correctly, actually we can go ahead and test it just so you guys see what we did the last time. Uh, we made the dialog for the bacon hair. So let's just wait for it. And what we wanna do in this tutorial, as you guys can see, we have the bacon hair dialog. We wanna change the image for our character or a random character image. We also want to change the name and the color so it looks different. So that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and do it. So first thing I want you guys to do, I want you to go ahead and go to the dialog script right here. We're going to click this and we're going to go directly to the set dialog image event. If you guys remember, we were using the character name here in the last video. This time we're gonna go ahead and change that. So I want you guys to go ahead and remove this right here and we're gonna change it to model. There we go. The char name here in the text, we're gonna change it to model name. And the char name here, we're gonna change it. Actually, we're gonna change everything here to model. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and change this to in the warning. Let's change it to model name. There we go. Okay, so this was pretty simple. This is all the changes we had to do in our dialog script. So in the main script, what we are gonna be doing is the tricky part. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create two new variables. So we're gonna do local random character and local random character name. This is where we are gonna be creating our random character so we can use it in the dialog. So we're gonna need to create a function. So we're gonna do local function get random character there we go first thing we're gonna do we're gonna do local players game players get players because we need to get all the players in the game and then I want you guys to go ahead and create a loop for this we're gonna use a repeat loop for this so we're gonna do repeat until inside our repeat we're gonna go ahead and do local number equal mat random one to list of players so basically we're gonna be creating a random number between one and the max number of players in the server so with this we're gonna be getting our random player so we're gonna do local random player equal players and we're gonna use our random number. So we're gonna do number. And this guy is gonna get us our random player. But we also gotta make sure uh, we have this, that this player has a random character. So we're gonna do random character, random player, random player dot character. 
So we're gonna get the character from the random player. Perfect. But we gotta make sure, that's why we are using a loop to make sure we actually have a character. So we're gonna wait until uh, random character equals true. So we're just gonna leave this like that. So there we go, we have our loop ready. Uh, and after this, so after we know we have a random character, we can go ahead and set the random character name. So we're gonna do random character name equal random character dot name. There we go. Then we also have to do these guys. We gotta do random character archivable true and this is because we are gonna need to clone clone the character for our dialog viewport frame and if we do not set the archivable uh, property to true it's not gonna let us so remember guys this is important you gotta write it too okay so we have our get random character function ready so what are we gonna do now Okay, so let's say we want to have a conversation with our bacon here. So this high dialog event right here, we're going to remove it. And after the bacon here is done talking, actually, we got to change. We got to change something first. Uh, right, remember, guys, right here, we were using the character, character name. We are going to change it now because now we are using uh, a model property. So this time we're going to do game workspace bacon. So instead of like using directly the string of the name of the character, we are actually using the model of the NPC. So we're going to do the same with our random character, but first we got to create it. So after the bacon hair is done talking, uh, let's say after this wait five we're gonna do get random character and this is gonna create our random character so we're gonna set our dialogue dialogue image now we're gonna do set dialogue image event we're gonna do fire right all clients uh, random character and then we're gonna set the color so for the bacon hair, we were using blue. So for this time, let's actually go ahead and change it and maybe use, maybe use uh, purple. Let's go ahead and use purple. You can actually use any color you want. So we have our set dialog image event done. So let's go ahead and create the dialog. So create dialog event, fire all clients and what does our character want to say let's say nice to meet you bacon here there we go nice to meet you bacon here then we're gonna wait five seconds we're gonna create another dialogue fire our client and we're gonna say my name is then we're gonna do two dots random character name so my name is character name so this should work then we're gonna wait five seconds and we're gonna hide dialogue event fire our client okay so we are having a conversation with our friend the bacon hair let's see if it works Hello, I'm Bacon here. Nice to meet you. And this is the part where, where our character should talk. There we go. We have our purple name, the Poncho King's tag and our picture. Perfect, perfect. My name is Poncho King's. There we go. Okay, it's working perfectly, but for some reason, our name is appearing here so we gotta we gotta fix that right we gotta fix that okay guys so i found what i was doing wrong we're actually gonna change bp character right here to obj 
There we go. Okay, so this should fix our problem and actually let's make the conversation faster. So let's say, let's just remove this right here. Let's say he says, I'm a bacon here. Then we remove everything else. We wait five seconds. He says, not to meet, nice to meet you. My name is Poncho Kings. And then we say something like, uh, so we're gonna use our model right here. As you guys can see, we have a good door that has nothing on it. And then we have another door that has a kill script on it. So we're gonna ask the bacon here, which one is the good door? So my name is Poncho. Let's say something like, um, which door should I go through? Let's make sure we also change the color. Okay, the, the color is good. Perfect. Yeah, which door should I go through? Then we're gonna wait five seconds. We're gonna change the dialogue image again to the bacon here. And the dialogue's gonna say, go through the left door. And then we wait and hide the dialogue. Okay. Okay, so let's see if this works. I'm a bacon hair. Nice to meet you, bacon hair. So we have our viewport frame image, our name. My name is Poncho Kings, it's working. Which door should I go through? Go through the left door. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bacon. There we go. You guys can see we touched the other door. It's getting us killed. So, okay, guys, that's gonna be the end of this tutorial. I hope it helped you. Uh, remember, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and make sure to subscribe so we can keep growing and we can keep making more cool videos. Uh, let me know in the comments if there is other cool tutorials you would like to see in the channel. And well, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye.